Hey y'all, it's Bailey Renee. I'm back with another tutorial. I hope y'all like my first one. If y'all are interested in this look, keep watching. First, I'm starting out with my foundation. I'm using MAC Studio Sculpt and I'm mixing NC45 and NC50 together to get my exact skin tone. Next, I'm using a MAC Shadow to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using Espresso. Now I'm outlining with a concealer to define my shape. Now I'm starting my highlight. If you're going to highlight your face, you want to do a highlight that is one to two skin tones lighter than your own. Drawing your contour lines thin will ensure that your contour won't be too heavy. Make sure when you blend your highlight and your contour, you're blending them towards each other. That will ensure that it will come out flawlessly. I'm going to be using this natural looking brown as a transition color. I got this blue shade from a palette trio from NYX. Um, I don't know the name of it, but we're just going to put this directly into the crease and just do a windshield wiper move back and forth. We're going to spray our brush down. You can use a Fix Plus, you can use a, uh, another setting spray, but you want to make sure you spray your brush down before you apply this shadow because it will fall out onto your makeup, it will fall out into your lashes, and you want to concentrate that directly in the middle of the lid all the way up to the crease. Now for these next two shades of blue, you only want to concentrate these on that outer corner of your eye and the inner corner of your eye and you don't want to go any further than your crease. I'm 
adding this lighter color blue, uh, it's called iris, just to wake the color up a little bit and maybe complement that lighter tone in the middle of the lid. Also reapplying that darker blue color corrupt on my bottom lash. I'm taking that unknown color back into my crease again. It seems to disappear after a while of being on your lid. If you have that issue, don't be afraid to reapply some more. It won't hurt anything. After you're done reapplying, go back in with the blending brush and make sure it's seamless. Now for any natural girls who may be interested in this hairstyle, the way that I do my bantu knots is I do basically a double strand twist. I put my hair in four sections, then I put those sections into three sections, I double strand twist the sections and then I bantu knot it. After I finished my song I decided I was going to do a pompadour. Wait, I can't do my hair without getting my earrings. Okay, there we go. 